Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great long weekend. So last week you spent the majority of your time focusing on John Brown and his attack um, on Harper's Ferry. I haven't yet read um, your thoughts on that and whether or not you believe that the end justified the means. Um, well, because you haven't completed it yet. These videos I create ahead of schedule. Um, but I'll be interested to learn, you know, what you think. If you believe that because he was an abolitionist and he was fighting for uh, an important cause, that it's okay what he did um, if it resulted in slaves' freedom, um, or do you think that even though you agree with the cause, you don't have a right to achieve that in any way you choose, especially if it's violent? Um, yeah, that's, that's a tough question. So uh, I can't wait to see um, what you guys think of that. So this week, um, you're going to be focused on secession. And what that means is um, withdrawal or leaving, in this case, the southern states leaving um, the Union and leaving it over slavery. So um, Republicans had won an election based on the idea that uh, slavery would continue to exist in the states that allowed it, but it would not be allowed to spread to any new territories um, that joined the United States. And Southerners um, had an issue with that primarily because they distrusted, um, they distrusted Republicans. They didn't believe that Republicans would allow slavery to remain in the South. Um, but also, again, they wanted to reopen this debate with the Missouri Compromise. Let's vote on each new territory that comes in and determine at that time whether or not there'll be a slave or a free state. And the Republicans who won the election said, no, <laughs> We're not willing to make that compromise. We were voted in on the premise that slavery would not be allowed in any new territories that entered the United States, and we're not reopening that. Um, so the Republicans dug in their heels, and the Southerners dug in theirs and said, but we don't trust you, and we think you're gonna take away our slaves. Therefore, we're gonna leave, bye. Um, so what you're gonna focus on this week is, um, again, all the sort of nuances and events that led to that secession. And you're also going to have to take a stand. Did the South have the right to do that? Um, and I will be very, very curious to um, read your thoughts on that. So make sure that you read carefully all the directions in the Google form. Do not mark yes that you've used capital letters when you haven't. Do not say yes, all your words are spelled correctly when they aren't. And do not say yes, you used punctuation when your sentences aren't even complete. Okay? So the idea here is that you pause, you proofread your work, and you make sure that it's as error-free as possible. And for goodness sakes, don't just say, nope, I don't have capital letters, but then not go back and revise or edit. Um, <laughs> That's just as silly, so don't do that either. And as always, if you're having questions with any of the content or the work that I'm asking you to do, contact me so I can help you. That's why I'm here. I don't want to read any more IDKs or I don't know or I don't remember or I'm confused. Um, all of those things are valid. It's okay to not know. It's okay to not remember. And it's okay to be confused. But then you need to contact me so I can help you with that confusion and we can get it worked out. All right? See you tomorrow. Bye.